Welcome in to Duval Daily, presented by GenJag.com. I'm Jordan DeLugo. Thank you so much for tuning in here on Tuesday, April 4th. Got some exciting news for you, Duval. Josh Wells, offensive tackle, returning to Duval, returning to the Jaguars, the team announced just a few moments ago. After signing with the Bucks back in 2018, Josh Wells has officially returned to the Jacksonville Jaguars. This was a tackle that I believed fit. Um, the Jaguars mold for what they needed going into 2023. I pegged him as a potential free agent signing for the Jaguars to come in here and fortify their offensive tackle group. Tons of experience at left tackle and right tackle. He started 24 games in the league, most of which were for the Jaguars from 2014 to 2018. Um, appeared in 95 total games. This is a player who can get you out of a pinch at tackle and do it at a pretty damn high level. He's 32 years old now, went undrafted back in 2014 out of James Madison. Six foot six, though, 306 pounds. He's got the size you're looking for. And again, when he's been asked to enter the ball game or even start games throughout his career uh, on either side of the line at left tackle or right tackle, he gets the job done a lot more often than not. He plays to a level where you can feel really good about him as your swing tackle, as your third tackle that can fill in for Cam Robinson or Walker Little. 326 reps on the offensive line for the Bucks this past year. He played left tackle and right tackle for them, so he hasn't been just riding the pine down there in Tampa. He's gotten in there and put in work for this offensive line, for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers offensive line. Now he's going to come back to Jacksonville and uh, potentially be able to do the same thing for the Jaguars, again, who needed a third tackle behind Cam Robinson, who is going to start at left tackle, signed a three-year deal prior to the 2022 season. Big fat deal, $18 million per year. Cam Robinson is your entrenched starting left tackle. Walker Little is projected to be your starting right tackle. And now you've got your guy as your third tackle. And look, Cam Robinson, he's finished both of the last two seasons um, on the injured list. So you look at maybe, can Josh Wells fill in for him at left tackle? Absolutely. Could you potentially just have Walker Little shift over to left tackle if he is in fact the Jaguars starting right tackle? And then have Josh Wells play right tackle. Yeah, so you've got some versatility here without how your offensive tackles can get in there and, and fill roles for you. And Josh Wells brings plenty of versatility to the table there for you. Things are going to be a little bit different for him this time around. Again, left back in 2018 after what was a pretty magical run for the Jaguars. But it's an entirely different organization than, than anything that he saw when he was here in Jacksonville. You've got Dougie P running the show now. Trevor Lawrence slinging the rock. You're going to have a whole new practice facility Um training facility, all that Miller Electric Center, going to be a a bit different for Josh Wells. But I'm excited for the return of Josh Wells to Jacksonville. Again, a guy that can just come in and solidify the back end of your offensive tackle group. You can now enter, if you're the Jacksonville Jaguars, you can now enter the 2023 NFL Draft without feeling the pressure to land an offensive tackle early. Uh, without feeling the pressure to say, we have to land our swing tackle in this draft class or we're going to go into the season not feeling comfortable with who we have behind um, Cam Robinson and Walker Little. And now I'm not saying that the Jaguars shouldn't take an offensive tackle or that they won't take an offensive tackle. If the board falls to them and they have an offensive tackle on the board that they value highly whenever they're picking, whether that's at 24 or 56, 88, whatever it may be, the Jaguars now don't feel have, have to feel pressured to go get their guy. They can just let the board fall to them, take an offensive tackle if they see fit, and they can absolutely go through the 2023 NFL draft and not bring in an offensive tackle. If the board does not fall the right way, they, they do not have to be pressured into taking one just for a number's reasons, just to make sure that they have three quality tackles. They've now got that third quality tackle in Josh Wells. Fired up for him to come back to Duval. Love to know what you guys think about this move. Um, Again, not going to be a high dollar value signing, so you shouldn't really worry about the cap ramifications here. This will be, you know, probably under $2 million, probably closer to that $1 million mark, veteran minimum type deal for Josh Wells, who again has played a lot as a, as a, Swing tackle for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers has started many games throughout his career, 24 games. He's going to come in, fortify that back end of the offensive tackle spot for the Jaguars and be insurance for Cam Robinson, who has been injured quite a bit lately. 
Again, love to know what y'all think. Hit me up on Twitter at Jordan DeLugo. Follow Generation Jag. We're at Generation Jag. Hit that like and subscribe button if you're on YouTube. Notification bell so you don't miss a show. You can, of course, leave a comment in the comment section below. If you're listening on your podcast platform of choice, please subscribe and review. And if you want to, you can go check out GenJag.com. Pick up one of these spiffy new hats. I'm rocking right here. Cardiac Cats, they just dropped on the website over at genjag.com slash shop. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Have a good one, Duval.